what is the use of stress test if my technique vocabulary is only two words like <laughs> so if my vocabulary is very limited of course it will lead to a limited set of experiences you have to control a set of a lot of techniques how do we do it in reference to holds first of all we build this is one hold okay he holds me like this if he holds me that's a second hold he's utilizing if he holds me here in the gi that's another hold if he holds me like this in half clinch that's another hold so what do i do i have to learn to do things from all of this so one two three four and if he holds me like this five and if he holds me like this and this will not work this will work okay and of course i always can escalate and do the equivalent of but not every time that somebody holds me i really want to take out his eye i need to have a level of violence that's suitable for the event so if he holds me like this then again i can do this i can do shuck and do this and we learned it today and after we learn it we start implementing it according to the methodical pyramid what in very very light stress testing if the stress testing at the beginning is too strenuous it will destroy the tool start to play i try to grab you yeah you try to grab me he he catches up fast okay and we start to play that's it yeah and we play okay uh, of course while playing we limit the stress test for now so right now if he hurts me i will not punch him okay but we we start to do what we learned today using this Okay, so that's my point, but then he re got rid of my hand, okay? So here is another hold, and we can slowly up the stress in the stress test, add more techniques that we learned before, but don't do the stress test based on only two techniques or four. Do the stress test so that you can implement a large vocabulary. Take it easy, guys. <laughs>